Welcome to the inside line race one. For this race, on P1, the pole position, we have La Ferrari. Number two is Steph, followed by Chris Cross, Seuss, Mr. CJ, It's Mists, Stocky, Groentje. And the lights are out and off we go. It's La Ferrari with a great start, followed by Steph, and they're going to the first corner. All safe and sound through the first corner. And we are on board with Mr. CJ, following Chris Cross on the way to Spoon. Exit of Spoon, Mr. CJ has a much better run and passes Chris Cross on the back straight towards the 130 R. In the Casio Triangle, we switch on board with Zeus, who also has a run on Chris Cross on the main straight. More speed he carries in before the first corner. Zeus takes a place up to P4. And on the back straight, we are on chase cam of Stocky, who has a run on Chris Cross. He goes a little bit wide, dives into the casual triangle. Oh, Zeus goes wide as well. And this is Chris Cross who passes Zeus. And also Stocky passes Zeus. Still, Stocky has a better run on Chris Cross. Can he make it into the first corner? Side by side. Breaks late. And get the move done. Back to the leading group with La Ferrari and Steph. P3 for CJ. Followed by Stocky, then Chris Cross, Zeus, It Smiths, and Grunge on P8. And at the end of lap 3, it's Chris Cross who switched his mediums up to softs. In front of the field with La Ferrari and Steph. Followed by CJ, then Stocky, then Zeus, and it's It Smiths, Kroontje also dives into the pits to get rid of his mediums, and then crisscross the P8. As we arrive at lap 8, we can see a small gap between the leaders. And we see Chris Cross on the tail of Zeus going to the SS. Looks like Chris Cross has more grip than Zeus. And in the last part of the SS, Zeus has some understeer and Chris passes him. We make a small jump to lap 10. And it's side by side through the 130R, crisscross and Stucky. And Stucky runs a little bit wide, almost loses his car. And before the Kayaizo triangle, Chris has passed Stucky. At the end of lap 11, beyond the chase cam of Steph, he goes into the pits for some new boots. On lap 14, he catch up with Mr. CJ, chasing him down. On the end of that lap, 
it's La Ferrari in his moment to make a pit stop for the mandatory tires. Meanwhile, it's CJ and Steph. And Steph makes a move while La Ferrari comes out of the pits. Steph makes his move done and have to chase down now La Ferrari. Oh no, it's a small mistake by Mr. CJ. Ah, he's back on the road. Still in P3. As CJ comes out of the pits, it's a close call between him and Chris Cross. No, it's Chris Cross in front. And Mr. CJ has to chase him down. It looks like LaFerrari has his softs on temperature and making a gap. The following car, Steph. Yes, it's a, quite a gap now. But Steph still comfortably in P2. And in P3, it's Chris Cross, followed by Mr. CJ. that it's stocky then Groentje followed by it's Smith and on P8 it's Sus as we go on board with CJ who's putting the pressure on crisscross as we move to spoon crisscross defends the inside Exit speed, uses the power of that AMG. Bye bye. Nice new box. Steph has a big enough gap to go for a free pit stop, get rid of those mediums, and switch back to the softs. While no Ferrari picks up the space. At the fastest lap of the race. Still P2 for Steph. Followed by CJ, Chris Cross, Stocky, Kroontje, Sus, Smits. Go on board with Love Ferrari as we start our final lap. the chicane and one right turn not can stop him now from victory and yes it's a win for La Ferrari a solid P2 for Steph Great P3 for CJ who has one scary moment when Sus dives up the inside. A little bit of shock for CJ, almost loses here, but keeps, keeps his cool. And still finish the race in P3. Well, thank you all for watching this race. I think we had a great race on our hands. With some nice battles, clean moves, and some fair racing. If you like this kind of racing, join us on Discord, Inside Line, an international sim racing league. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on this video.